Important votes are coming this week that could impact your local electric bill for years to come. There's a bipartisan agreement on a, a bill uh, that Duke Energy has been trying to get passed for some time now, but some group, uh, they really want the lawmakers to scrap this whole thing altogether. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh with more on what this would mean for you. Michael. Yeah, this is happening as Duke and state leaders have set goals to cut greenhouse gas emissions. And so this bill that's expected to pass this week would directly affect how much of that cost gets passed on to you. The bill would allow Duke to request rate increases for three years at a time instead of just one. The first year would be tied to the company's actual costs and revenues, and the second and third year rate increases would be capped at 4%. The bill also sets goals to substantially reduce CO2 emissions, becoming carbon neutral by 2050. Duke would have to work with the state to develop a plan to do that by the end of next year, and that plan would ultimately impact what you pay. Republicans and Democrats, including Governor Roy Cooper, are in agreement on this bill, but some social justice and environmental groups are urging them to start over. It's going to be especially hard for middle and low income families to survive under this bill because their rates are going to go up significantly and there's nothing in the bill to help those families. Decarbonization is coming to the electric grid. It's coming globally. It's coming nationally. It's coming to North Carolina. So what we did for the citizens of North Carolina was we guaranteed it would be done at the least possible cost to them. This bill is expected to pass by the end of the week. When I reached out to Duke Energy, a spokesman said it's too soon to estimate the cost of this on customers, though Governor Cooper says it will ultimately save people money. Coming up at 6, why some experts are concerned about whether that will actually happen. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you. So we'd like to hear from you about this. Do you